So I'm Julia Asherman and I own and operate Rag and Frass Farm in Jeffersonville, Georgia. And I'm a vegetable farmer and a cut flower grower. I, I love farming and I've always been a plant person since my earliest memories. So working with plants is one of my favorite things and we're one of the oldest professions. I feel like I feel a historical significance in this work. It's something we do because we need food as a species. I'm a direct market farmer, so most of my selling happens at farmer's markets, and I'm sort of doing it all of the things. So I'm doing the field work and the production, I'm doing the marketing, I'm doing the selling, I'm doing the bookkeep bookkeeping, I'm doing wearing all the hats. I mean, I think any farmer has these inherent risks in farming. Um, we're outdoors a lot, so we are dealing with um, a lot of heat and a lot of sun. Um, we're dealing with snakes and insects and animals. And I mean, I'm on a tractor, I'm using heavy equipment, I'm on ladders, I get on my own roof when I have to patch the roof. So there's, I mean, there's just a lot of risks. I have a farm insurance policy that really covers if, some, if a tornado takes down a greenhouse, um, and I have liability uh, that covers if someone were to get sick from something I produce, but I don't have anything protecting me. I mean, I've never made enough money to be able to pay an extra $500 a month for health insurance. That's actually almost twice what my mortgage payment is. Um, so I fell into this, for a while I just didn't have insurance, and I, you know, went to my local DFAX office to ask about Medicaid and you know, being very low income and being having the tax returns to show that, and they they told me that I had to be blind or pregnant to qualify. To me, uh, access to healthcare just seems like sort of as fundamental as access to food or education, maybe even more fundamental than some of those other things we take for granted. So, I've never been in the position, knock on wood, to to find out what it's like to so injured or so sick that you can't work, but um, I definitely feel like the thing I need to protect the most in my farm business is me. Everything else can almost be replaced, but not me. I see my health as vital to my farm's existence and success because I'm doing so many things and because uh, so many things can't be outsourced outside of myself. If I'm not healthy or not able to work or if I'm injured, uh, I mean, that's the thing that makes me worry about losing your farm. Affordable healthcare would mean it would it would mean that I'm able to to do my job to the fullest potential and to my fullest ability, and to be able to know that this is something I can continue to do for the future, and that it can be my career for the next ten or twenty or maybe thirty or forty years. Um, it would give me a sense of security and uh, it would make it so I could have a family and it would make it so that I could do other things that normal people in other jobs can do. This has been a production of the Georgia Budget and Policy Institute.